Hello, WooThemes blog readers. My name is Brad Tunar, and I'm going to give you a little demo of using MigrateDB Pro to keep your local dev environment uh, database in sync with your live site. So uh, I've got two, two environments here. I've got my dev site, so dev.deliciousbrains.com on the right tab here. And then on the left tab, I've got my live site, deliciousbrains.com. And you can see uh, straight away that there's a difference here in the settings. We've got enable the use of coupons on the live site. And it's disabled here on the dev site. And also uh, clear, clear cart when logging out is checked in the dev site. And it is unchecked on the live site. So uh, and then let's look at our dashboards as well. Uh, here we've got uh, orders from July 11th is the most recent. And then the most recent on the live site is today, the 25th of July. And you'll see that the comment numbers are different as well. And some of the pending, pending is different. So anyway, let's update our local dev database with the data from the live site. So if we go to Tools, Migrate DB Pro, you'll see I already have a profile, migration profile set up here. So I don't, I could do this really quickly, uh, but I'll show you all the steps that you can do. Uh, so what we want to do is we want to pull down fresh data from the live site. So we're going to select a pull and it's going to ask for connection info. So we need to go to the live site and to the plugin on the live site, Migrate DB Pro. And then settings, and then we're going to copy the connection info and paste it into this box here. And it connected properly. And you'll see here that it's already set up our find and replace. So it's going to find deliciousbrains.com in the database and replace it with dev.deliciousbrains.com. And it's going to find any instances of our file path where our uh, where the install is installed on the file system, and replace it with the local path. Uh, and then uh, we can take a look at advanced options. We don't need to replace GUIDs. Uh, sure, let's exclude some spam comments. Uh, we'll keep the post revisions, and we won't bother backing it up. But we could back up the local database before it gets overwritten, which is a nice little feature. Uh, and we can save this migration profile uh, so that we don't have to do all this copying and pasting next time. But we won't do that. And so if I just click Migrate, it will start copying the data and creating tables in my local database. And then as when it's finished, it will actually uh, overwrite all the other, all, all the current tables. So it's not overwriting as it's going here. So you can see we're finishing up our poll here. It's just pulling the rest of the WooCommerce tables at the end. And there it goes. It's finished uh, the migration. And you can see here that it's taken a minute 30 to run. And so if we take a look at our dashboard, we can see that uh, our dev database is now updated with the latest data. We see orders here of the, uh, from today, 25th of July. And if we just compare this with the dashboard on the live site, we can see that the numbers are identical. And then if we take a look at our settings in WooCommerce, we can see that enable use of coupons is now checked, uh, which it wasn't before on this dev site. And clear cart when logging out is now unchecked. And it was checked previously. So that's how easy it is to update your local dev database uh, using WP Migrate DB Pro.